Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about The Matrix. Unfortunately, no one can be told what The Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. So we just watched The Matrix, me and Matt have both seen it, and this was Paige's first time. And she was going in so blind into this, she didn't even know that Keanu Reeves was starring. So this is about as clean of a slate without anything influencing her kind of deal ever. So Paige, just start us off. What oh, did God. you think? <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. That was crazy. I didn't expect anything. I had to ask a lot of questions. But, yeah, we did pause it a couple times. Cause <laughs> anyone who knows The Matrix knows that that could be uh, a, a tough one to swallow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that was that was that was awesome though. I mean, that lobby scene, like you said, like, that was your favorite scene. You said, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that was just... the coolest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, when no. she kicked the gun down and then shot. Oh, that was so cool. That was so the cool. Whole movie I feel is... like a little nerd right now. That was <laughs> so cool. I mean, I just watched this a month a month ago when I was leading up to Resurrection. So you know. Uh, well, this movie doesn't talk, get old. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> no, we're, no, we're, we're here to nerd out over the original. We got feelings on that one too, but <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> as as I was telling her, basically the Matrix series starts here with a ten out of ten, and then it just gradually gets worse until you get to Resurrections. In my opinion, I was not a fan of that movie, but we're not here to talk about that. We're going to talk about the original Matrix today. Yeah. So uh, just right off the bat, what did you think of? Uh, Keanu's performance in this one. Dude, he was awesome. <laughs> he was so cool. I like that he had like that whole arc. Like he was such a little nerd and then he was like the coolest person ever. Yeah. Flying. <laughs> and I was like, what? He well, was he so was cool. a hacker in The Matrix and <laughs> no, he I kind of saying. knew of The Matrix without really knowing of the, if that makes sense. Question. What was he giving the people in the beginning, like that CD drive thing? I assume it's just like, it's 1999 internet, some kind of version of like the dark web or something that he gave him yeah, access to. Yeah, some sort to. of yeah. hacking, he's a, he was a, he's a hacking computer genius or whatever, so he sold them some sort of software or something like that. Okay. Pretty much how he makes a living. That was cool. Well, that's his side job, because remember, he did work at that office. Yeah. He didn't seem like oh, the best sure. of employee, though. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. they didn't really seem to like him. Yeah. <laughs> Tell so, <laughs> one thing I would love to point out is just the practical effects in this movie. The the choreography, the score. It's just it's nonstop action. It's it's just ama it looks amazing. We watched it on 4K. Uh, we have the 4K trilogy set. Actually, John has it right over next to him over there. Yep. Uh, we have the 4K trilogy set. And it looks amazing. The Dolby Atmos sounds incredible with our Sonos setup. Yeah, that's and crazy. I'm a little deaf. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get a better movie theater quality setup in home to watch The Matrix than this. But uh, no, it was great. I had a great time again, even though I just watched it. It doesn't matter. The movie is uh, just you can just completely rewatchable. Keanu's great. Hugo Weaving is amazing. I his line delivery. Every time he just says anything, is just great. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yeah, that's the oh. best with the earpiece and the glasses. Yeah. Dude, those glasses. I was waiting for him to get his glasses and he finally did it and I was like, yes! Yeah, that's how iconic it is. She knew that he was going to get his leather jacket and his yeah. uh, sunglasses. <laughs> and even girl. Lawrence Fishburne, awesome in that movie. Yeah. Is that Morbius? Morbius. Morbius. Yeah. I yeah. keep that... saying Morbius. It's like, that's the movie coming out. I got delayed, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> but yeah, Lawrence Fishburne, incredible uh, performance and... Just the fight scene in the beginning with him and Neo. I love when he comes up to Neo and he goes, I know Kung Fu. And Morpheus goes, show me. It's just so cool. I, I love the way they, they interact. And then, that again, that fight scene is just incredible. That last third act was... I timeless like i felt like it was five seconds <laughs> the, that was so the lobby cool. scene yeah. uh the way it builds tension that whole third act and then like you pointed out like it sets up like an old-fashioned western in the subway you got t the papers being the tumbleweeds yeah. <laughs> it's Except just that. amazing how like they pulled that off in a movie and this movie is now 23 years old 1999 i'm 23 <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're just as old as the matrix hey i'm 1998 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, for 99, they, the cast were really ahead of their time. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I do, once Rob Zombie was on for, like, that 
opening, not opening scene, but like yeah. that first scene with In like a club. snort. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a good Incredible one. soundtrack. That was awesome. Ending out with the Rage It Against the Machine song. Oh, uh, the Wachowskis know how to pick their music That's for their so movies. Sick. That's for sure. Every movie ends with a Rage Against the Machine yeah, song. Yeah, all that, four of them do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the way that, yeah, the way they incorporate music. And then the score, you already brought it up. It's great. It really... I think it was paced so well. I remember we paused it at like exactly an hour and 15 minutes, and you are like, oh, only an hour left. And I was like, already? Like, what? Mm -hmm. It goes quick. It goes real quick. It's... Non-stop, you that know, was, it's just... Excuse me, that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's just incredible. It's just a movie that holds up, withstands the test of time, and, you know, and 23 years later, the fact that people could still discover this movie and find out how amazingly well-made it is and how great the special effects are, and honestly, the fact that it holds up better than its sequels isn't even more incredible. You can't well, even. That's all the practical effects. Yeah, they sometimes they... it's a shining example how CGI can actually so what hurt is a franchise. Reloaded and uh, was it Revelations or Revolutions? Revolutions and then the Resurrections. And, but those were both 2003. They, they were, those movies were back to back mm -hmm. in 2003. Six Two in one, one year. Six. Yeah, one apart. came out I believe in March, and the other one I believe came out in. And early 2000s, they loved CGI. So they loved. CGI and they love to put green filters over their camera lenses. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna bring that up. <laughs> so I know you said like green is for the matrix and shit, but I googled what green means and it means rebirth. Oh, really? Yeah, so like I feel like one he was rebirthed. Well, like, it's literally, it's... he was rebirthed. Yeah, but like basically, it's just symbolism for Jesus, is what this movie is. And Neo is Jesus, he's the chosen one. You know, I can't believe all those action scenes were so like. Oh, yeah. Insane and like 1999. Who die? Yeah, no, it's incredible. The wire work is amazing. It's been spoofed like, in movies like Scary Movie. Yeah. You know, it's uh, <laughs> really yeah. yeah, yeah. Go back. We'll show you Scary Movie too. <laughs> I've watched Scary Movie yeah. a thousand times, yeah. but I've never watched this. So yeah, yeah now yeah. you get some of the jokes. Oh. In closing, we would just like to say that if you haven't seen The Matrix. Like Which me. is crazy. But yeah, but that's why we had to show it to her. Yeah. <laughs> ten out of ten movie. If pick up the 4K because that's the absolute best experience you can it's have crazy. with the Matrix. It looks incredible. It's got a Dolby Atmos score, um, or soundtrack, have you? Uh, but that's really the best way to watch it. Yeah. It so Paige, so what would you give it for your first time? I would honestly give it a ten. Like that was that was a, such a fun experience. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad I got to see it on like this. Yeah. <laughs> her first experience was her best experience. Yeah, literally. I don't think I'll ever top that. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for joining us. It's a 10 out of 10 for me too. And everyone, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And tell all your friends.